Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to align elements using the align items property. The align items property is similar to justify content. Recall the justify content property aligned flex items along the main axis. For rows, the main axis is a horizontal line, and for columns, it is a vertical line. Flex containers also have cross axis, which is the opposite of the main axis. For rows, the cross axis is the vertical and four columns. For rows, the cross axis is the vertical and four columns. The cross axis is horizontal. CSS offers the align items property to align fixed items along the cross axis. For a row, it tells CSS how to, how to push the items in the entire row up or down within the container. And for a column, how to push all the items left or right within a container. The different values available for align items include flex start, align, okay, aligns items to the start of the flex container. Okay, before we start doing this, I'm going to tell you the, I'm going to, should have the align items property set to the value of center, the box container. So align items set to center. Got it. Okay, cool. So flex start aligns the items to, s to the start of the container. What happens if we do flex? I'm thinking flex start is going to move it up to the top left. Cool. Flex end, it's going to move them to the bottom right. Flex center, it's going to move them to the middle. Oh, that's just center, not flex center. Flex center just is an invalid one, so they just go back to the default centers like that. Stretch. Interesting. Align items and then the stretch are actually the same. If no align items value is specified, stretch is the default. Okay, cool. And we've got baseline. Baseline makes them, so they're just at the top, but they're not stretched out. So. So display flex is what actually gives it this thing. Display flex is the thing that makes it so that it stretches them out and sets them side by side, especially considering their font sizes, the, the font size of the in interior things. Flex is making it so that they flex to the space. And then if we line to baseline, it goes to there. I wonder if it allows us to do this. We want to set it to center. And that should pass the tests. Anyways, I hope me going through this kind of helps you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.